Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be showing you all my my whole collection of DVDs. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick um, overview of all the DVDs I have, alongside with a few here that are like in bags and stuff, and small slips, but you know, the cases and slips and whatnot. But yeah, this is just a quick overview, um, and in seconds I'll be going over them each one by one. Um, you no know, titles and all that. Yeah, some of these movies I've actually already done reviews for. I'm gonna say at least ten or twenty of them I've done. So, but yeah, whatever. You can check the channel out for those. Um. So yeah. So yeah. Now, now to checking out which DVDs I have. So yeah, I've practically emptied everything. So that's how it looks empty. I usually keep my DVDs in order from A to Z, you know, or numbers to Z, or however you want to say it. Um, you know, like an ABC order. Um, but the way you're going to see them is coming from Z to A, or Z to numbers. You know, so going from like the last title to the first title type of thing. So yeah, the first one I have is Zombieland. I actually have a poster of it. You, which you've probably seen in some of my previous videos, but yeah, zombie land. Hey, you have to do a better camera angle. Whatever. Um, then I have Zombie Diaries number two. Back there. I also have um X two, X Men United. It's a pretty decent movie. Somewhat. X Men Last Stand. Not the best movie it could have been. <clears throat> but it's good for what it has going. X Men Origins Wolverine. Eh. X Men First Class. X-Men, the original one, the first one. World War Z. That was pretty, pretty good movie. Wedding Crashers. We're the Millers. Warm bodies. Quick thing, I kind of fucked up on the sleeve here. Um, problem was that when I got it for Christmas, um, the one that just passed, I guess it was caught or something, like something in the box, and practically just broke. So I have it kind of held with this kind of sticker here. Yeah, I fu I basically fucked up the sleeve, but you know I'm still gonna keep the sleeve even though it's bad. Probably get a new sleeve in the future, but whatever. At least I still have a sleeve. Wally, the best animated movie of all time, in my opinion. Got that one in Peru. Yeah. Um, TMNT, the one from like 2007 or 9. When was this? 2007, yeah. I'm trying to get the other three ones, the original ones. And I'm really hoping to see how the first one comes out. Um, the one that's coming out later this year, Titanic. Um, uh, this is a documentary. I got it um for my birthday from my, one of my aunts. Um, I'm not a huge fan of documentaries, but I have another documentary here. Um, that one's actually a little bit more exciting, but I fairly enjoyed the documentary. Um, floor. I got this in Colombia. It's pretty funny because the door here, the, the side, it's kind of backwards. So if you want to see the door name correctly, you have to put it like this with the back of it face up. And if you just want to see the face, you know, like that. So yeah. I like the face going up, so you like that. I also have um, The Wolverine, the one that came out last year. Um, Blu-ray. So that's pretty cool. And it's got the sleeve, so, you know. So that's that's a bonus right there. Blu-ray and a sleeve. 
um, Walking Dead Season 2 with the sleeve. So, yeah. I also have Season 1, which is coming up right now. Um, Walking Dead Season 1. At the book. I like how it's like almost like a book type of thing or like a pamphlet. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to get to Season 3, the DVD. Um, the, I don't care if it's in Blu-ray, but you know, I just like to have it. The Road. This one was a pretty good movie. I really, I really enjoy that movie actually. I need to watch it again though. Um, The Punisher. I actually got this one recently. Um, from as a confirmation gift. Got this like last week. So you need to watch it. Um, I don't know how it's. I've never actually seen it, so I'm really excited to see how that goes. I've heard mixed reviews about it, but. I'll see. I'll review it. The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. How do we say that? Um, I have yet to watch this movie. I haven't really watched any of the Lord of the Rings movies or Hobbit movies. I actually bought this. Um, I think before Christmas, but because of Christmas holidays, I got a thirty movie. So and then my DVR broke, so I still have to kind of watch that movie. About. I heard good st stuff about it, so I'm excited to watch it. The Heat got this during Christmas. I like this movie a lot. Um, Fast and Furious, the original, and it's got the metal case or metal box. How you want to see it? Uh, it's got the Blu-ray and the digital copy, so that's cool. That's cool. And it's got the metal case. That's cool. Good. Have the dictator, um, the band and the rated version and the normal versions. It's been funny. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool comedy. Came out like two years ago, 2012, I believe. The Dead Undead. Um, this is a pretty messed up movie. It's a bit confusing, but overall, it's a pretty good movie. It's got confusing at times, though. A, a few plot holes. Yeah. The Dark Knight Rises, um, the one with Bane, yeah, the bo that's the one, the last one of the Northern Trilogy. It's a pretty good movie. No, it's not as good as the second one, though, which I actually do have right now. Um, The Dark Knight, best Batman movie ever. Yeah. The Campaign. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Will Ferrell. I mean, I've seen Anchorman. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of um, Will Ferrell, but um, I mean, I am a fan of him. Just, you know, don't watch much of his movies. But from what I have seen, he's pretty good. And as usual, he's very comedic in this movie. Um, The Born Identity, Matt Damon. Um, that's really, this is all I really know, know Matt Damon's in, the Born series, except for like the last Born one. Um, which Jeremy Renner was in. <coughs> um, he's decent. He's decent. I have to really, really don't have any problems with him. Amazing Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. But I, don't, I have nearly every single Spider-Man movie. Um, except for the third one. Um, and maybe the ones that are gonna, gonna come out when it comes out. Um, yeah. TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, from the 1980s series, this is season 10. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a 1-0 there, so season 10, the final season. Um, yeah. Season 9. Season 8. Season 3. And season one. Um, I actually had this one from when I was a kid. Then I started collecting the DV like DVDs and stuff. And I found three, eight, nine, and ten in this like very cool deal. Um, at this, I think it was like garage sale or something. Um, each of them for like ten bucks. Um, so you know, I just got it. Pretty good deal for me. Um, still trying to get seasons two, four. Five. Five and six and seven. Eventually, I will find them all. T 
T um Teenage Mutant not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Teen Titans Trouble in Tokyo um like the season final of the Teen Teen Titans series um or movie final however you want to say it original movie so pretty sure it's not based on comics at all I don't know well I mean the you know the story is not based on the comics the characters are most likely are Ted I've also got the sleeve. So that's pretty cool. And it's got the unrated version, so yeah. Yeah. Um this is no this is a movie I had from when I was a kid. I don't even remember don't even know how I got this one. This is Super Mario Bros. Mario's movie madness. This is one of those like cartoon movies or um T V shows or something like that or one shot miniseries type of thing. I really haven't seen this in, since I was like five. Um, Stan Lee, Mutants, Monsters, and Marvel. Um, you have Kevin Smith basically interviewing Stan Lee on you know why he liked um comics and you know his experience during his career. This is the other documentary I have. It's actually better than ti Titanic one. So yeah. As I said before, I do have most of the Spider-Man movies, so I here's Spider-Man and Spider-Man Two. Um, kind of got out of order, so something like that. They got out of order. I have um, I am a Legend. I actually got this one in Colombia, so this one says Soy Leyenda, um, uh, which is Spanish for I am a Legend. Um. But, but still, same thing. It's the same movie, you know. I just ha have to go into the language and put instead of Spanish, English, and that's it. You know, I can watch it normally. But yeah, so I like in that I'm Legend. Shrek 2. Um, got this when I was like 10 at a birthday party or something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember clearly. Um, so yeah. Sherlock Holmes, Game of Shadows. Robert Downey Jr., I'm a huge fan of him, especially um, in Iron Man and uh, the Iron Man, you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe and Tropic Thunder. Um, yeah, Jude Law, I really don't know much about him, except that he's in the Sherlock Holmes series, and that's it, I really don't know anything else he's in. I mean, he's not, like, come up with on the spot. So, yeah. I also have the Sherlock Holmes, the first one. You know, Downey Jr., Jude Law. Elementary, my dear Watson. Um, Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. I saw this one on, on Cartoon Network, and I thought it was like one of the best um, Scooby Doo movies. So when I found it, I got it. It's fairly enjoyable. I'm a huge fan of Scooby Doo. Watched the cartoons on Boomerang when I was a child. So yeah. Rise of the Gu Rise of the Guardians. Um, had the sleeve and it's Blu-ray, so that's a bonus. I got this when I was sick. Not six. I was just you know, I guess I got ill, sick, and I was in the hospital. So I got it as a present. So yeah. Olympus has fallen. Um Gerard Butler, um, he's slowly becoming one of my favorite actors. Slowly. Um Aaron Eckhart. Uh I mean he's good here. Um we don't know much of his moves. I mean, I know he was an I Frankenstein, but I missed that one, so yeah. And then you have Morgan Freeman, I think one of the best actors so far we've ever had. Um so yeah. Oblivion, another Morgan Freeman movie. You also have um, Tom Cruise. Um, has a sleeve and it's Blu-ray. So yeah, that's good. With Tom Cruise, I'm not a huge fan of him. You know, I'm, I like what he does, but not a really huge fan of him. Morgan Freeman, I love him. Um, Night at the Museum, Battle of Smithsonian. Um, ben Stiller, he... He's done some good movies like Tropic Thunder in the uh, the museum series. Um, there's a third one coming out like late December. But I really didn't like Walter Mitty. That one was a that one was a, that one could have been better. And then Night at the Museum, the original one. No, that's good. This is Doubtfire. This is one of the first movies I got when I started collecting them. Um, I like it, but I feel it's a bit awkward at times, but it's still funny, it's funny, just, there's like a few scenes I don't 
Maybe you understand or find out it was just straight up weird, but it's overall it's a good movie and funny movie. Um, Men in Black Three. It's a good movie. And it's actually um based on a comics. For those who don't know, it's actually based on a sub theory of Marvel, along with Kick Ass. Um, the Kick Ass movie franchise. That's also on a subsidiary of Marvel. So it's Men in Black. Um, I found that out when I, you know, when I started getting into Men in Black a bit. Um, I also like the song that Pitbull made, um, Back in Time, based for this movie. Back, back in time. Do no 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 do no 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 back, back in time. Whatever. Uh, Men in Black one, the first one. I'm missing the second one, which I'm hoping to find at some point, which I've really actually never seen. So, you know, that's another reason I'm going to get it. Um, Meet the Fockers. Um, another Ben St um, Stiller movie also has Robert De Niro. Um, I don't actually remember. Any I know Robert De Niro has been around for a long time, but I can't really recall anything off the, top off the top of my head that he's been in. Um... Yeah, not really off the top. I mean, it's got really, it's just got this really thing that really bothers me right here that got kind of cut up. But yeah, still a pretty good movie. It's funny. I have the Avengers. Um, I got this on Black Friday, um, of 2012 or 2013. No, two two years ago. Um, on Black Friday. So yeah, this was a good. I got um the original price at the time. Where I got it, um, it was like at twenty bucks, and I have a few coupons. Well, not coupon, more of um, so, you know, my mom get, had a coupon, and then I had a gift card, uh, from something I forget, and I, at the end I got this for like two bucks, cause I, you know, I needed to pay a bit. So yeah, I got this for like two bucks at the end. It was a, it was a good deal, in my opinion. Um, Jack the Giant Slayer. Um, this is a pretty decent movie, pretty decent. It just uh, it has this crack here or whatever. I really don't like on the, on the case. It bothers me. Um. So yeah, yeah. It's kind of fall asleep. Give me a sec. Enter. Sorry about that. <laughs> Iron Man Two. This was a good movie. Yeah. Whiplash could have been handled a bit better, in my opinion, but, you know, decent. Still need a good third one, though. I mean, here's Iron the first Iron Man. This was a pretty good movie. I, I haven't watched this since it came out. Actually, I watched it about two years ago again, and then I bought it, so yeah. Um, Hulk, the 2003 one. Um, it's too, too, too special. There's, I don't think it has the Blu-ray. Yeah, it doesn't have the Blu-ray. The CGI could have been handled better at times, but I still think it was a pretty good movie. I really do think this is really under, not undermined, but underjudged, or however you want to say it. I, 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 don't, I can't figure out the correct word, but um, it's better than what most people think think it to be. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. I think one of my, I think this is my favorite comedy of all times. I, I liked Macaulay Culkin when he was a kid. Um, yeah, Home Alone, Richie Rich. Um, was he in Stuart Little? No, no, he wasn't. That was somebody, somebody else. Um, that that was a good movie too. Um, Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part One. I need a good Part Two. This is a good movie. Dobby dies. I remember. I think it was in that movie. Whatever. Um, Harry Potter. Half Blood Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Dobby. How? Why did you have to kill that Beatrix? Why? Yeah, I only have three Harry Potter movies. I need to get the rest. Ghost Rider, the first one, Nicolas Cage. But you have the slip cover. So that's good. Um, I haven't really watched Ghost Rider. I mean, I've heard mixed reviews about it, but so I watch about me you know, myself, you know, and then I have my own opinion. Um, Gangsters, Guns, and Zombies. Well, this is actually a pretty funny movie. It has comedy mixed in with like it's basically dark comedy, so you know that's that's good. It's dark comedy. 
I, it's very enjoyable. Final Destination number five. And that was that was a good movie. Um, and this fell asleep again. More. Give me a sec. Eh, what the hell happened here? Sorry. Um, just keep moving the mouse. Okay. Um, Frosty the Snowman from like the Golden Books thing. I don't know. Has that thing on, on the side and the logo. Got this for Christmas as a Christmas present when I was like five. And I watch it every Christmas because you know it's that good of a movie. Well, I don't actually know if I got a movie. I mean, it's like 40 minutes long, so maybe a TV episode or whatever. I don't know. I'd call it a movie. Uh, Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Heroes, the animated series from like 2000, um, 2006 and 2007. Um, so yeah. I still, sometimes I have trouble finding out how this to get the movie out, but it's almost like a slipcover. You know, you have it like that. It's pretty cool. And then, kind of have it like that. So, you know, it's pretty cool. It's almost like a pamphlet. It's got four discs, and it's, I guess, how you, I guess it has a slipcover. I guess. Depending how you want to see it. Then I have um the first Fantastic Four. This was this is another movie that's actually better than what most people think it to be, in my opinion. It's also got the slipcase, slip cover, whatever. Sleeve. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I like how they have the orange outline, kinda of cartoonish. Um yeah. I like the books. Um, I, I, I don't know if the books could be considered um, comics, though. Some people say they're graphic novels. Some of them, I mean, if you actually seen a Red and Diary of Kid books, you know what I'm talking about with stick figures, but whatever. Daredevil, um, this is a movie um, I, I've heard, I heard negative reviews about, but I really didn't want to, you know, want to hear it till I actually watch the movies and... Yeah, it is a pretty bad movie, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is like a guilty pleasure for me. I don't know why. I mean, I know the acting sucks, that everything's bad, but for whatever reason, it's a guilty pleasure for me. Well, you know, I'd still give it a bad rating, but you know, for whatever reason, I, I, it's like a guilty pleasure for me. I I don't know why. Um, Dead Snow, um, a Norwegian independent film, sort of. Um, I think it's Norwegian. I'm pretty sure it's Norwegian. Basically, um, yeah, this is actually a pretty good zombie movie. Um, I heard they're doing a sequel to it, um, but I'm sure I would like to see a sequel to it. I have Dawn of the Dead and Land of the Dead combo. I put I have this at D, Dawn of the Dead, mostly because that's the first one that's there. And also here on the sleeve, not sleeve, um, but the, on the side, Dawn of the Dead, so that's why I have it under the D section, Dawn of the Dead. So yeah, then I have Clue on Blu-ray. Um, this came out like in the '80s or '90s, and it's based off the the board game Clue. And they have three alternative endings, which they actually show in the in the thing in the like in the deleted scene section or special feature section. I have Caddyshack on Blu-ray. Um, this is another movie I got when I was sick. When I, you know, in the hospital, not six, sick, in the hospital. Um, so yeah, Katie Shack. I still have yet to watch this one. Um, just at my at the time when I got it, my DVR didn't have Blu-ray, and I and really the only Blu-ray um DVD player we have in my house. I really don't like the where it is, so no, yeah. But now now I'm gonna watch it because my DVR now has um Blu-ray. Um, Ben 10, the, um, the series, I got this one in Peru too, um, I don't know if this is the full series or just season 3, um, I don't know, cause it has 3 on, on the side, on, I mean, I don't know if you, it's like a pen, but it has 3 here, then it's got the 3 things, 
I don't really actually know how many seasons there is in the original Ben 10 series, but you know, I'm a huge fan of Ben 10, one of my favorite cartoons from when I was a kid, and you know, I got it, and I was, to be fair, I got it when I was like five, five or six, not, not five or six, um, when did I go to Peru? I got this in Peru, so yeah, seven or eight. The summer before I went to fourth grade, and I'm 15 now, so you know, seven or eight, I don't know, whatever. Batman, the original um, animated series, or one of the animated series, the animated series from the 90s. I think this is season one, but I'm not completely sure. Um, It's got Cats and Claws Part 1 and Part 2, Cats and Claws Part 1 and 2. On Leather Wings, Heart of Ice, and Feet of Clay, Parts 1 and 2. So, yeah, that's that's cool. It's actually a pretty good series. Um, I kind of do want to know a bit more about it. Uh, Batman vs. Dracula. One of my favorite Batman animated films, in my opinion. Or well, cartoon films or whatever. Um, Batman Begins. I don't have it right here where Dark Knight is because, you know, ABC order. And I have the original Batman, the one from like the eighties that stars Nicolas Cage. Not Nicolas Cage, um shit. Michael Keaton and I forgot Nicholas I forget. The guy that plays Joker, Nicholas something. I forgot his name, not Nicholas Cage. Um Michael Keaton and someone else. I forget, Nicholas something. Write in the comments below if you guys know, um know the guy that plays Joker. I can't remember at the moment. Nicholas something. I want to say Nicholas Holt, but I know that's not him. That's not Nick Cage. Can't remember at the time. Whatever. But yeah, that's the original one, the first Batman movie ever made, my in live action, from what I know. Um, Anchorman. Will Ferrell. That's a pretty funny movie. I still need to get the second one though. Alvin and the Chipmunks. No, that was a pretty funny movie. Not. Well, not exactly funny, but eh, whatever. After Earth. This is another movie that I think many people like undermine. I think it's better than what most people think it to be, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, it's got its problems, but it's actually better than what most people think it to be. Ten zombie movies, the dead walking, the zombies are coming type of thing. Basically, ten. These are basically ten cheaply made movies, um, or not well known movies, um, yeah. The most of them are from like two thousand. Um, uh, most of these movies, the years go from twenty third, not twenty thirty, nineteen thirty to two thousand ten. Most of these are either cheap, new, cheap, uh, films or um, um, cheap films or you know just films that aren't well known. And basically, the films here are destined to be ingested. Um, destined to be ingested. Revolt of the Zombies, Zombies vs. Strippers, Diner, then get it in parentheses, um, Last Man on Earth, Ashes, Autumn, I Eat Your Skin, Mort Mortary, Mortary, and River of Darkness. I've seen maybe two or three of the films here. Um, and uh, Diner, so far it's my favorite one. It, even though it's cheaply made, it's pretty interesting, it's cool. And lastly, I have the combo pack for um the four combo pack Final Destination series. So yeah, I have the whole Final Destination. And yeah, that's basically all my movies. Wait, not all of them. Sorry, almost forgot the. I have the ones on the sleeve on like actual baggies. Um, I have actually got. I have how many here? One, two, three, four, five. I have five here. Um, from like. Latin America, that I got from Latin America, you know, they could get like 10 of these movies for maybe 2 bucks, and then I have actual, some actual movies in here, so I have Man of Steel, in this bag, baggy, I also have, um, The Lone Ranger, uh, that one could have been better than, than it is, I have, I still have, I actually got After Earth before it came out on DVD, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this DVD though. So, yeah, technically I do have the whole Iron Man series, Iron Man three. I have it. So yeah, and then I have Fast and Furious six. These are, and then these other next three movies um are movies that I have 
that you know I've had since I was a kid, more or less, 2007 ish. I don't know. Um, Evan Almighty. Hole, holes, and 101, di 101 Dalmatians. Actually, I haven't, I've actually never seen 101 Dalmatians, not to my knowledge. So, yeah, these are pretty much all my DVDs, um, except two. Actually, I also have Easy A and The Hunger Games, you know, the first one. But I lent those to my sister, and, yeah, I don't actually know where she put them. I lent them to her recently. But I also have those movies, um, Easy A, um, that was a pretty good movie, and The Hunger Games, that one's also a pretty decent movie. Um, so, yeah, those are basically all the movies I have. Um, yeah, in the future, I will be doing other things like this, you know, um, like hauls, hauls, or whatever, how would you say that, like, like DVD hauls, I get over whatever, you know, over a break or whatever, I'm also, I'm also gonna do the same thing for my comics, you know, show you all my comics, um, you know, and then do comic hauls or something like that, um, you know, what I, you know, so you guys can check it out, um, so yeah, tell me what you think about my movies, did you like them, did you hate them, you know, which one of these movies you think are the best movies, and which movies you recommend I should get, I mean, I do actually have a list of movies I want to get, um, somewhere, one of them being Men in Black 2, for sure I want to get that one, the rest of the original Batman series, um, even if that includes Batman and Robin, I was, you know, it's worth it, and Spider-Man 3, it's also worth it, you know, to complete my Spider-Man, um, collection at the moment. To Amazing Spider-Man 2 comes comes out. So yeah, I'm also gonna try and find the actual, you know, like the actual, you know, cases or whatever for um the Latin America versions that have you know Fast and Furious, Six, Man of Steel, and um, what's the other one? And the Lone Ranger. I'm actually gonna find cases, and I'm gonna find actual cases for these two, you know, one-on-one damage. Dalmatians, Holtz, and Oven Almighty. You know, like actual cases like these. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. You know, as I said before, comment below on what you thought. What are your thoughts on my DVDs? You know, what are your thoughts on which ones I should get next? You know, which ones did you like out of these? Have you seen any of these? Or, you know, which one of these DVDs do you think I should get on Blu ray? I'll take that into consideration. And do you guys want to see my comic book? book haul um that'll probably be up in like in two or three days or whatever a few days because i actually have a lot of comics i'll probably also have to mix it up with my um graphic novels because you know those count and yeah one more thing if you can remember who was playing joker in the original batman i'd really like to know because i really forgot nicholas something i forgot um yeah i can't remember in the moment um so yeah that's basically it for this video, and, you know, so as I said before, comment below, subscribe. I usually don't do these hauls, but, you know, I will start doing hauls, hauls, that, that word's weird. Uh, you know, I'll start doing stuff like this more often, um, because I actually really enjoy this. You know, but, um, besides that, I also review movies, TV shows, and comics, so, you know, stay tuned for that, and, you know, subscribe, comment below, share on Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, Vine. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off. Yes. And the password locked me out again. Yeah. So bye. Hope you like my DVDs. Yeah. Daniel Mart signing off.